The first thing that we need to do to write the electron configuration for nitrogen is to find the number of electrons that will arrange around the nucleus. We can do that by looking at the periodic table, finding the element, and looking at the atomic number. That's the number of protons, but it's also the number of electrons. And once we have the number of electrons, we can write the electron configuration for nitrogen. So let's try it. We have nitrogen, and it has seven electrons. So we'll start with the 1s, and we'll go down there. That's the first orbital, 1s. And s orbitals can hold up to two electrons. So we'll put two for the number of electrons in the 1s orbital. We'll go down the 2s, and that will also hold two. We'll then go down the next row, and we'll have 2p. Ps can hold up to six electrons, but we only need three more to complete the electron configuration for nitrogen. So we're just going to put three in that 2p orbital. If you look at the electron configuration here for nitrogen, you can see that we have two plus two plus three. That equals seven electrons, which is the number of electrons for the nitrogen atom. So our configuration, 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.